Hi everyone, welcome back. Part 11 of my cargo trader to camper conversion. In this episode, we're going to talk about the table that I built, how I did that. Uh, I wanted a table that I could take out with me and then one that I could put in. It also folds down to make the bed here. Talk about this little fold out table off the door. And then also my to toilet install and uh, how I did some of my locks, the lock for my fridge, lock for the door and the exterior door handle. So we got a lot in this episode. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see some more as we're going camping, as we're finishing up the project here, uh, subscribe for more videos to come. Talk about this little table. It's just three quarter inch birch, just like uh, my, my din dining table. I just put some of these little fold down hinges on the bottom here. So it folds down, folds away, and then this will fit all in behind there. So you close it, it's not hitting. You fold it out. Good little spot for the Coleman barbecue. It'll also fold around to the side so in case you it's smoking or whatever you can put it on the side. So this was a little bit of a pain because the distance in here was quite tight. So I'll just show you what I did to fit this into here. So first of all the hinges, they're an Amazon hinge here. You can see how it's made. It's just this part here just folds down and then it all lays in flat all in together here. It's pretty slick. So the problem was though that the distance between once I put the hinge in there plus the tabletop, it was about an inch and a half. And I've only got about a, an inch and a quarter here. So what I did is I just routered out the tabletop a quarter of an inch. So it's a three quarter inch piece of plywood. So I took a quarter inch off of it. And then I inset this into there on both sides. And that fits perfect. So if you get these same hinges off of Amazon, you just router it out. It all depends on where your box is, right? If you have your box further in, it'd be okay, but I put it right to the end. So just so it all fit in here. And then I also had to just uh, grind the, the heads off or these bolts. So, so that's the that table. Well, let's talk about this table. So what I wanted was a table that I could pull out I didn't really like, there was those ones with those single legs that go down, you got to put the little base. Uh, I didn't want to have that and I thought too, also, once this folds up and it's here, worst case scenario, if you had to fit somebody else, you could fit them in a sleeping bag underneath here. They could sleep right underneath uh, this table so or this bed that's going across here. So this table comes right out. And you can set it up wherever you want. Oh, nice little picnic area, especially when you're doing crown land, when you're boondocking, when there's no, there's no amenities, there's no ta picnic tables or anything. So I thought that would work well. So I'll just show you how it folds down. So basically, it's just your standard legs, you know, folding legs you can buy. And that's it. That's your bed now. It's not too bad to do. Pretty easy to, to fold up. And then like I mentioned, someone could sleep under if they had to. Obviously not ideal, but better than in the rain. Here's my setup for my table. It's going to be my table, which in there it's going to fold down for the bed. But then I've got these legs that I just bought off of, uh, uh, I think it was Amazon. I got these legs that are going to go underneath. And they're going to fold up. I've just been trying to figure out the proper radius here for the corners. Just been using different things to try and get. I think I'm going to. I settled on. I think this is a mayonnaise container. So settled on that one. After I've got it uh, radius the corners, I've got a router built into my table here, into my uh, table saw. And I'm just going to router the edges fairly lightly all the way around, then sand it. And then I'm going to be just using this stuff to seal it. 
So I'll seal both sides before I put the legs on. This is what I use to support the table or support the bed. I just took some of that angle iron bracket I had and made some of these the right height. So three of those there and it just slides in, slides in nice and easy. And it's the same length obviously as the bench. Let's talk about the toilet install. So here's where we put our toilet. The reason why I bought this one, uh, there's the, the number on it, 365, I think that's the model number, was one because of the size of the bowl, but also because it's got this lockdown bracket you can install on it. And it clamps at the back, it holds it solid at the back, and then it, it clamps at the front here. And I slid it as far over towards the shower as possible, just to give you some room here, and then, you know, there's room in here, obviously. So this thing, and just far enough forward so that it all flips up okay. So it's it's pretty good. It's a good little spot, and I like it that I can just pop it out, go take so here's it. Here's what I'm using for a uh, handle. It's just a T-handle off of a gate. I'll explain a little bit more in a bit. But uh, one thing that some people say is that you can get locked in, you know, if someone closes it, and then, you know, puts this on here, it'll lock you in. But uh, what I did is I just put a hole through down here so that the lock I'll just clip in down below here and then it stops it. You can't actually close it. So you can't, you can't close it enough to lock yourself in. So I just thought that was easier than putting another one of these um, brackets over here and, and getting it all over there, putting more holes in the side. There's already these holes here so I just put a hole in that and that stops that. I'll show you inside. So here's inside. So that's the, the latch, super easy, just like that, nice and tight. You can see no, no light coming through. And then this is the lock, it just goes and it's locked in there. That's not going anywhere, so that's in. So that's the lock there. I use the same type of lock for my fridge. I just, the top pivot point like if you wanted to swap the doors anyways so that just goes down locks in there's no way that's coming open so I'd show you my stabilizers here so they do stick out quite a bit because these are our seven inch pads they're the biggest I think you can buy because I just wanted to make sure that they wouldn't sink when you're out in the dirt um, so they st stick out, I'd say probably half of it. So what do you got, three and a half inches or so sticking out there? The fronts are a little better. I tucked them away a little more, as tight as I could. So those are only maybe a couple inches sticking out there. And I mean, it doesn't, hopefully it's not gonna hit anything. So we'll see how it goes once I get going. Hope you enjoyed the video. So that's it for today. The next one, I think we're going to do the cushions. But uh, lots of different little ideas here. Please continue sharing your comments, your ideas. A lot of them have helped a lot with my build, and I do appreciate it. But uh, we'll see you in the next video.